Hello guys and welcome back to episode 2 of Sky Factory and today we are here where we left off last episode I've actually added another layer of uh, what I could make out of wooden plank slabs here and we've actually got another tree that's grown so let's go ahead and start to crook this thing and what we're aiming to do is uh, oh we just got one guys literally I was talking about it look we've got a silkworm now these things are really cool they allow us to grow string and uh, we're going to have to plant this soon. I'll show you guys how I mean by that. That was so lucky that I got that just then. That's really cool. I'm actually going to go ahead and keep crooking these leaves because we're going to need a little bit more wood. Uh, we can lob these in there. And we can also use these as food, guys. We can actually cook these up and uh, and eat them. So that's going to be quite cool. You know, if we run out of apples, which I, which we undoubtedly will, we can actually uh, grow, grow, well, cook silkworms. So um, there we go. I'm actually just going to make like get a little bit of wood here we're gonna make two more uh, we're gonna make two more crooks so we can chop down the rest of this okay there we go we've got our two now let's just keep going I can't believe I got that guys that was such a non fluke you guys can see that I have that as a video evidence okay so oh we've got two how has this happened how has this happened I didn't even see us get that second one but this means we're gonna be flying so let's go ahead and delete these I think the chances of getting two off one tree are pretty close to zero. I mean, come on. It's hard to get one, let alone two in one tree. Uh, this means this must be a good series ahead of me. So once I've chopped this down, we're actually going to uh, plant the rest of these. Like this, and we're going to store these two saplings just in case. Uh, we've got a little bit more wood. I'm actually going to keep this wood for now. We're not going to bother with that. Actually, we might just make it into uh, planks. And let's just have a look. We can make anything out of wood that might be cool just to use for now. We've got all of the different woods here, but let's go ahead and type wooden into here. And we can see that this is the stuff that's pretty much available to us. We could start with Tinker's Construct, but making tools out of wood is pretty much pointless. So I'm actually going to skip that. We could make some wooden armor, uh, but I'm actually not going to do that. We'll actually keep that there. And uh, well, that was close. We must chucked our wood off. And we're actually just going to. Oh, not the apples. We're going to turn this into wooden planks here and just make another row of these so we can finish this one off here. Lovely. Just like that. Okay, cool. So, uh, I also want to start making some fences so we can't fall off as easily. We haven't actually died yet. So, there we go. Let's just keep a few apples. Uh, we've got two saplings down. Uh, I'm planning on moving these dirt or we're going to make another line across here. Maybe, you know, on this once we've got a few more layers added to the island. Uh, there we go. In fact, why don't we make a sign while we're at this? Uh, here we go. We've got a sign. Um, just plonk these down. Now, I know this is a bit of a waste of wood, guys, but we've got to call this island something. So let's go ahead and place our sign down. We've got a, a few uh, pieces of wood here. So where should we place this sign? Uh, let's go ahead and put our sign here. Let's make a little funky pattern out of wood, and we're going to put the island on it. Now this is what our homeland is called. This is our starting block and the expansion and we're going to keep this sign here for the rest of the series. So uh, you know as a monument just to see how far we've come we can look back at this sign turn around and see our vast landscape of farms, automated stuff, tinkers constructs and everything. Okay cool we've got two signs left as well. Let's lob the rest of the stuff back in here. Um, okay there we go. So I guess I'll be back when these trees decide to grow. Uh, see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm back. This tree has grown and it's time to go ahead and plant our silkworm. So what you want to do is come over to your tree and we're going to right click on a block. Let's try and get one that has a large amount of blo uh, connecting blocks. So we might need to climb up onto the top. But uh, now this one here should be alright. So we're going to right click and you can see this has changed to infested leaves. If you look up there on the uh, whaler mod, I believe it's called, at the top. And gradually this is going to spread throughout our uh, throughout our tree. If these grow which they hopefully will, we'll actually get uh, this one, will we'll infect this tree and then this will pass on to this one and so on and so on. So, uh, we've just got to wait for that. Um, whilst I'm doing that, I don't think there's anything I need to do apart from catch the rain when it falls eventually. Uh, we're going to really need some rain soon, hopefully. Um, so, is there anything I want to do? Uh, not really. I might, I don't have it, even have any wood so I can't really do that. So, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, cut the episode again and we're gonna be right back once this has actually spread so see you in a bit guys okay guys I'm back so as you can see we've actually got a big tree that's grown this is gonna be a real help to us because it has a lot of wood in a lot of leaves for us to crook 
and we can see that our silkworm has actually infested all of these leaves it's actually spread to the other tree as you can see up there look so I'm actually going to delete this one now uh, first of all we're obviously going to crook this and uh, get some string here we go look guys we've got another silkworm as well these things will drop a lot more frequently from infested leaves um, so let's just go ahead and break all of these oh we've got one up there um, okay almost done Oh, we're going to have to climb up on our crafting table and let's just go through all of these. We should be getting a crap ton of string. Uh, we need 12 in total to make a bed, which I believe we have just managed to get now. So um, we want to make a bed really so we can sleep through the, m through the night so you guys can see in the videos. I know that's so frustrating when, you know, a YouTube video, all it is is in the dark and you can't see anything. You're just listening to the audio. So uh, we're about done with this. It doesn't look like this has actually dropped any saplings. So... Um, what we're going to need to do is probably chop this one down quickly as well, but we can actually go ahead and make ourselves some wool here. So let's go and we make one, two, three. Uh, clear the rest of this out because we never know when we might need this. Lob this in the chest before we fall off. Uh, we can add our silkworms to our little collection here. And uh, let's chop this thing down. So let's go ahead and do this, do this, do this. It's quite a tall tree actually, guys. Here we go, look and chop this one down as well and we can go ahead and actually I'm not going to plant that yet just in case this thing doesn't spawn anymore uh, oh it looks like we didn't actually have to use a crook there to get the string okay so now you've got this let's turn this into wooden planks and go ahead and build our bed so there we go we've actually managed to accomplish the goal of getting string and creating a bed so let's go ahead and put this down next to our sign here uh, we might want to go over this with a few more wooden slabs just to make sure we don't actually fall off so let's go ahead and create a few more of those uh, like this I think we should probably do at least two more layers so let's just quickly do that do 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 and then I want to make another another tool guys that we're going to need soon now we've actually got string we can start to make our well we need to make two, tool, two tools now so let's go ahead and delete this uh, that looks good for now we've actually got two more slabs we can probably add these just here to make sure you know we don't fall off like that okay so we want to make ourselves a sieve so if I come in here and type sieve we're gonna see four different types of sieve we just want the oak one so let's go ahead and press R on that thing now we can see we need silk mesh so let's r uh, press R on that and that requires uh, 18 string that's gonna need so I'm not sure if we've got that yet Let's go ahead and have a look. We've got 16, so we can just about make one. Uh, there we go, we're going to make that. And we're going to get the other stuff ready. Uh, press R, so we need two sticks and four wooden planks. We can do that. So we've got four here. Uh, we've got some here. Let's go ahead and break this torch, actually. I'm going to see if I can actually do this trick. This is a really neat trick for you guys who don't know. Uh, let's just see if it works for us. Yes, it does. So, as you can see here, I've put my crafting table into a crafting grid, and it's going to give us a crafting station. This thing's cool because when we exit out of the crafting menu, we don't actually lose the stuff that's in here, and we've actually got an inventory next to this, so we don't actually have to come out and then come in. If we put it next to a chest, we've actually got an inventory here. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our stuff to that we're going to need. We can actually use this to put things in. Um, and we're also going to need a wooden hammer guys so let's go ahead and make one of these uh, so let's go ahead and click on the hammer so we're going to press R on this if it'll let me uh, this is the wrong one that's why we're going to need a wooden hammer wooden hammer wooden hammer wooden hammer am I just being blind or something can I not see a wooden hammer anywhere oh here we go right wooden hammer so this is going to require two sticks and two pieces of wood so let's go ahead and make this quickly and there we go so I guess now I've done this we actually need to just wait and f wait for this silk to uh, grow and then go ahead and make our sieve so I'll be right back hello guys so it's time for us to chop down this big tree then okay so let's get uh, some blocks here and we're gonna start to build up <coughs> let's just delete these here oh we should probably be using our crook silly me and okay so we're in the middle of the leaves now we're just going to go ahead and start removing these. We probably don't need to use a crook for these because they don't actually drop saplings. Okay, so let's quickly delete these. Uh, we're actually going to use a crook because it's going to take forever. So let's just go ahead and do that now. 
It's good that we've got a big tree, but uh, obviously it's going to take a lot longer to chop down. So uh, we're going to get through probably quite a few cro uh, crooks doing this, but it's for the best, I suppose. Lots of string. It's all falling off the edge there, but don't worry, because we're going to have a crap turn. Okay, so let's quickly do this. If we just get to the wood here, we're going to have a ton and ton of string, man. This can be awesome. Okay, guys, so this is going to be a bit boring, so I'm actually going to cut here, and I'll be right. Bleh, sorry, I'll be right back with the uh, with the finished cut down tree. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and we've actually deleted both of our trees here. I'm actually going to get the saplings from out here and plant them again, so we can, um, you know, reharvest more wood. Uh, I've got nine silkworms from that, so let's add that to our little collection of bugs here. So we've got 15 in total now, and we've got a whole, you know, almost a full stack of. Um, of string. So why don't we go ahead and craft ourselves our next piece of uh, silk mesh that we're going to need. So just come into the crafting table here and bang, there we go. Okay, so we're going to need a sieve. Okay, so let's go ahead and click R on this thing and we're going to need some sticks and some planks. Now that's not a problem because we've got plenty of wood from that, uh, from that tree. <coughs> so let's just take these and build this quickly. Okay, so we've got our sieve. Now this is our next step in upgrading our system. Let's go ahead and put the sieve down. Let's sit here. And we're going to actually need some dirt. So we're going to need to harvest a few more saplings with the crooks we've got. And uh, that's going to be it. So uh, I think this has probably been quite a long episode. It feels like it anyway. I've been recording this for ages, just waiting for trees to grow. So uh, let's just grab an apple out of the chest here. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. And uh, if you're following this on a sort of tutorial thing, make sure that... Uh, you know, you've got all your saplings and stuff organised. Make sure you don't die, because that's going to be a really bad thing. In fact, speaking of that, I should probably lob this wood in the chest. Uh, but before we end the episode, I will actually just expand this island out a little bit. And next episode, I think we're probably going to get into making a mob farm, maybe. As if we've got enough wood, that is. And uh, so we can get some mob drops. So let's just make this island a little bit bigger. Build that, and we want to come one more out probably. So let's go ahead and do this like that. Okay, and we're going to need a few more. So let's just grab our other one, and let's say I don't know, we want 12 more. That should be plenty. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start on the other side. Bam, 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 and let's hit F7 just to see where mobs can spawn. So we're going to actually need. To light this area up, to do that we're going to need charcoal torches, and to do that we're going to need um, some rock to make a furnace, or cobblestone rather, so there we go. We're going to need to light this area up, and also make a mob farm, probably over in the distance somewhere, maybe out there, maybe out here, or out there. Uh, you know, not behind here, because I think this is going to be our main tool station here. But you know, hopefully, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please like, subscribe, uh, any comments or you know feedback is welcome. See you next time.